Okay, hey guys, it's your boy Obsidian Obsidian Nilius here, back with another video. So, this was a mistake. Okay, uh, here's what happened. So, I bought a new Baku tin. Yeah, this is a new one compared to the blue one. And they had a packaging mistake. Hey, we have a Battle Planet. Dragonoid and the very first Armored Alliance Dragonoid, which doesn't really bother me, but hold on. Okay, had to get his horn out. But that's not the thing that bothers me the most, but it's because of this. They gave me this, a, a, um, what is the word, a national, or a multi-language card for Diamond Dragonoid, and they didn't even give us, they didn't even give me a, a Aventus Dragonoid card. But instead, I got a Core Heos Gortheon. And you guys can already see there's a Leah. A Leah card and a Trox. Or a Leah and Winton card. So yeah, if any of you guys have this issue uh, with your Bakuten... Let me know in the comments down below. Because this is not right. But, uh, I'll be right back in one sec. And we are back. All right, guys, so the main topic of this video is this new Bakugan Geogon Rising Aqua Auralis Turanoid Ultra. So basically, so uh, let me tell you guys something. There was barely any Bakugans at Walmart, and there was only like Two or three Baku tins, two gold and one blue. Some, uh, only one Ventus, or no, not Ventus, a uh, Auralis King Cubbo. And I turn around in the wrestler section, and these guys were in there. Alright, let's turn the flash on so you guys can see. The gold. So here is Arlis Toronoid. Toronoid. I'm trying to remember who had Toronoid. Um, in the show, Toronoid was Pyrus. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Toronoid, Toronoid was Pyrus, and I think McHugh uh, had him. Oh. Well, there's the opening action. Uh, one minute. Okay, guys, I'm back, and yeah, I actually got Toronoid back in his ball form because when I first opened him, I was in... I was in the car and I had a hard time closing them up because I had a, all, a lot of stuff in my lap. But anyway, whoa, and he stood up. And uh, his only manual pieces are his back hooves, back hooves. And so, here's Aralus Toranoid Ultra, 
all all rolled out. Oh wait, hold on. There we go. Yep, you guys can tell the quality in my new videos. Cat hair was or looks a lot better. No, where's his B power? Oh, and he's, his B power is in his right arm, or yeah, his right his right arm or front leg, whatever it is. 600 B power. That is good. But wait until you see this guy. Aquos Aratoa. And these guys were the Aurelis Bakugan that Drago had to defeat if he wanted to become a member of the Supreme Bakugan Council. Which he did. And, uh, let's roll them out, and, uh, oh no. Okay, sorry guys. You know what? Boom. There he is. Aquos Aratoa. Popped out. And right there you can see the B power under his, his arm. On his thigh. 700 B power. That is, gang, that is strong. Stronger than, uh... Uh, Toranoid. And now, for the strongest Bakugan in the set, Ventus Jetra. Yep, Jet Kuzo's Bakugan. Except, Jet Kuzo is a, Jet Kuzo's Bakugan is Pyrus. But, if Jet Kuzo was, was wearing green, then uh this is this would be his Bakugan then. And my very first jellyfish Bakugan. So wait, I got a Stingray a Stingray Geogon. Uh two Shark Tars. Uh Boom, there we go. So I got Geoforge Stingzer, two Shark Tars, and I now got a Jellyfish, Jetra. And already you guys can see on his tentacle, 800 B power. That is stronger than Oratoa. And uh, if you guys don't know, uh, not this yellow at the top of my finger is the eye. This one is the eye. Not this one. The one that looks like a boomerang. This one is his eye. I think the boomerang yellow piece is supposed to be his mouth. Now, let's take a look at their cards. So here is Toranoid Ult Toranoid Ultra. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't talk. But um 600 B power and 6 damage. That is good. But not as good as this next one. Uh Aquos Oratoa. 700 B power and 2 damage and Land on a flame fist, you get two frost strikes. And don't mind my cat uh, meowing in the background, guys. And then, finally, with the character cards, here's Jetra. You guys see what I mean with the yellow 
the boomerang piece. It's that little triangle. Is that diamond or triangle shape with the black in the middle. And this eye is up top. 800B power and 1 damage. And if he lands on a normal shield, plus 4 damage and a uh, shadow strike. And out of all of these guys that I have in this set, Jetra is probably my favorite because I like jellyfish. Even though I got stung by a bunch of jellies when I was when me and my family went to the Keys. Fuzz. Okay. So there are two double faction sim or double faction uh, ability cards. So let's go with the non fusion ability card. Okay, so here is Glacial Glare. There we go. Takes five energies to get out and plus, I mean, minus 1,000 B power and you get to search for a card in your deck. And, um, Serpillion, I think. I forgot his name, but... He almost looked like he's breathing Dragonoid Infinity. These head crests... Oh, wait, hold on. Bring up the flashlight again. These head crests look like Geoforge, or not Geoforge, but Dragonoid Infinity. Alright, up next is the uh, Pyrus Ventus ability card. This one is probably the strongest one, strongest card I ever gotten. Bullion Blast. It takes eight energies to get out and uh, plus 2,000 B power and 10 damage. So if you guys got a Pyrus or a Ventus, hint the Pyrus one's got to be Geoforge Dragonoid, <laughs> then you guys will win. Pretty dang easily. And finally, we got Echo Search, which I might have done this in a previous video. I don't remember, but I'll do it again. One, en one energy to get out, and you can search for a card, draw a card, and then search for another card. All right, that is going to wrap up on this video on a small error that Spin Master put in their golden Baku tin along with the non-errored Auralis Toranoid Ultra. Hope y'all enjoyed this, and if you did and want to see more videos about Bakugan or uh, Lego models or Lego Godzilla models right here, Leave a comment down below and let me know, and subscribe, so you don't miss out on anything. And, uh, you guys comment down below if you like the blue case, or golden case. The golden case, I'm, I'm gonna be holding Geoforge Dragonoid in, and maybe Ultimate Villoc, once I get him. And, uh, let me see. Oh. Well, this is what I did, guys. Or, here's my plan for doing this. All six of these Geogons are all their native, all their native factions, right? Pyrus, uh, Auralis, Darkus, Ventus... Aquos and Heos. Well, when, uh, or later on today, I'll be having Darkest Nilius and, um, who else? Maybe Falcron or Farascal. And for this one, 
Ooh, actually, I got a better idea, guys. Uh, all right. How about this? I'm going to make a deck filled with uh, some even more strong Bakugan. I mean, the blue Bakutin already has my strongest uh, and all my uh, ball-shaped Bakugan from Geogon Rising. But this deck will be for Geoforge, Dragonoid, Ultimate Villoc, and Aventus, Apyrus, Aventus, Pyrus, Darkus, or wait, and I'll add a Ventus, a Darkus, a Heos, and an Aquos. So I'm able to use all these Geogon, especially when I get uh, Ultimate Villoc. And uh, that is going to wrap up on this video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'm out. And peace.